Dearly beloved, we're gathered here in the presence of God, family, and friends to witness a joyous occasion, the union of Kyle and Catherine in holy matrimony. Every breath holds a moment. Everyone a chance to take. I've known Kyle a long time. You can see <laughs> His whole life. One day, I met Kat, and Kat was just at her house, and it was like, oh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> In a family of two brothers coming from my dad, who had four brothers, so <laughs> entirely boys, um, I think that was the day that I first realized that I now had a sister for the first time. And I think today is the day that we finally make it official. You two are truly meant for each other. One of the things that stands out most is your introverted personalities, which makes you the perfect couple. told me that he wanted me to meet someone. And there was a woman on his computer. And then the woman said, hi, Kyle. And Kyle said to me, Shamal, this is Kat. And that's when I realized I was being replaced. It was about nine years ago now that I went on a little adventure, I guess I'll call it, to meet a cute girl I had met online. Destination was Austin, Texas. It was my first time ever booking my own airline ticket, figuring out how to navigate an airport, and flying alone. It was my first time ever renting a car for myself. And it was my first time ever booking and staying at a hotel all by myself. <laughs> it was all for meeting a girl I had met online. To say I was a bit nervous and questioning to myself at the time, is this what overcommitment feels like? <laughs> Would have been a bit of an understatement. Yet, despite my feelings, before our first meeting, we ended up spending a lot more time with each other and having lots of memorable follow-ups. And over the years and visits, I would say we learned a lot about each other. We learned that we both had a goofy and occasionally dark sense of humor. We learned that we could depend and rely upon one another. We learned that we could be vulnerable in front of one another, no matter what. You have been my partner, my biggest supporter, and most importantly, my best friend. The day we met back in 2014, you and I bonded over a shared interest in video games, cartoons, humor, and you and I both knew that we shared something special, despite living multiple states away. <laughs> that was a small detail that neither one of us knew after spending six hours on a video call. <laughs> oh, you live in Brentwood? What part of Texas is that in? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's in California. <laughs> Saturday, March 29th, 2014. This was our very first date. You and I spent the day in Zilker Park in Austin, Texas, walking around Barton Springs and getting snow cones. At the end of the day, you and I got back into the rented Kia Soul, sat down. <laughs> I know you would enough. never do that again. <laughs> we looked each other in the eyes and said, so are we gonna do this? And we both said yes. that would last up until this day, almost 10 years later. Such as Disneyland, Hawaii, the mud run at Delo so far. Each of these memories strengthening our, our blossoming relationship. In June 2015, we were done with the long distance. I was done and <laughs> you were done. And you, myself, my mother and my father, we packed up my car together and made our journey from Austin to Brentwood. You and I swore we'd never, ever make another semi-cross country trip like that again. And so far that promise has held true. Aside from, of course, my storm chasing and, you know, the multiple drives to the Porsche Experience Center. That doesn't count. <laughs> taking someone else's last name, but I cannot wait to officially become part of your family and to become Catherine Grace Taylor. I promise to always love and support you each and every day. I promise to be faithful, to be your number one cheerleader when you drive at Sonoma Raceway. <laughs> Can promise to never make you sit through chick flicks, musicals, or country music festivals. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I know you will. I love you, Kyle. And I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. I love your willingness to push yourself and try new things. I love your sense of humor and how much you make me laugh. And now, after all this time, here we are today, getting married. I saw many milestones you guys have shared together, and Kat finding her unique interest. I've had the privilege of watching you two grow together. I promise that I will always love you and support you in whatever you decide to pursue in life. I promise I will always be available for you to support you physically or emotionally. I promise to always listen to you, whatever you have to say, and I'll never go to bed angry. Kat, Kyle, I couldn't be happier for both of you. Today as we celebrate your love, I have no doubt that your future together will be even more remarkable. May your journey continue to be filled with love and new adventures. I love getting to spend time with you, even doing the simple things like cooking dinner together, watching TV, or trying to control our lunatic, Luna. <laughs> I love that we both have hobbies that we 
enthuse about and occasionally can terrify our friends and family with. <laughs> I promise to always make time for us and our relationship. I had to have weekly date nights. I promise to think about sharing some of my peanut butter stash with you. I'll, I'll consider it. I really want to start off congratulating uh, Catherine and Kyle for this very special moment. Guys, thank you. I mean, it's been a long time coming. And officially welcome Catherine to the family. I'd like to thank the inventor of the internet <laughs> for connecting these two people, these two, California, Texas. Okay, father advice. You guys now are a team. You need to watch out for one another. And then I looked at Kat, and then Kat instantly looked at Kyle and said, "Yeah, we now. Hey, you here? We are a team now." <laughs> and I, I right then I knew Kyle's off the market. That's it. <laughs> After all the time we've spent together and things we've learned about one another, I can't imagine not having you in my life. Catherine, you are the love of my life and there is no one else I would rather spend my life with. I'm so happy to have you in our family, Cat. And many wonderful years after this. By the authority invested in me, by the state of California, and the executive committee of Precision Cabinets, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now salute your bride. One, two, three, now watch me go. Na, 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 na. no longer a player to my buddy's life. However, after years of getting to know Kat and confiding in her and getting her advice about life and seeing how well she treats my buddy, I am confident in handing over the title of player two to you, Catherine. So, cheers to you guys. Take care of my buddy. Thanks again, especially people who have flown in. You know, I've got grade school people here, I've got high school people, I've got co-workers, and the fact that they all came so far. And some of them, you know, you'll send an invitation out, just say, you know, why don't you show up? And they go, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> so it means so much to me, all of you. Thank you so much, and God bless. And of course, I now have a son. Yeah. And another one coming around the corner in September. So we're very blessed.